Knowing that Yusik is a very crafty and elusive boxer, Joshua aimed towards the midsection of his opponent. This was something very different from AJ compared to what he was doing in the first fight. By aiming towards the body, Joshua's aim was to slow Yusik down in the later rounds. This was working in a way because some body punches that AJ was landing were actually causing great effect on Yusik. So this was a good game plan against Alexander Yusik. Yusik. Yusik is the shorter fighter but surprisingly it was him who was controlling the ring and using the jab more than his taller opponent. This jab kept AJ at perfect range for Yusik and the jabs also prevented AJ from landing those mean body punches. Just like their first fight, Yusik was constantly landing that left hand which was causing a lot of problems for AJ. Many say that the left hand thrown by a southpaw boxer is the best punch to throw against an orthodox one. Well, you have to agree with those who say that because Yusik made life pretty difficult for AJ in that ring by constantly landing that left hand. Just quickly, if you really want to improve as a boxer, why don't you get your boxing training sessions analyzed by me these analyzed clips are going to be very similar to the ones that are in my videos but they are going to be based solely on you to help you become the best boxer you can become here is my email address as well as my instagram if you are interested then please message me and let's get started okay back to the video Yusik displayed excellent head movement in the ring when boxing against AJ. His head movement allowed him to evade many powerful blows thrown by his opponent. Also his head movement created opportunities to counter AJ and he did just that. There were moments in the fight where AJ landed his right hand and this punch was just as effective as Yusik's backhand. When AJ landed the right hand there was a moment where he rocked Yusik but AJ did not throw this punch as often as he should have. If AJ did throw this punch more often he may have caused great problems and may have stole this fight from Alexander Yusik. Yusik was not throwing a lot of single punches, instead he was using quick crisp combinations which were landing on AJ. By throwing combinations Yusik prevented himself from being countered by his opponent. Also these combinations pushed AJ back and gave Yusik control of the ring and helped him steal this win.